Looks like LeBron James is kicking his latest sneakers to the curb for now, and that has Nike redefining the LeBron 11 shoes. I'm Tony Collins with your ESPN headline. For more on this, you bring in ESPN sports business reporter Darren Rebell. Darren, what problem does LeBron have with the shoes? It's a little bit unclear. What we know is that they don't fit him exactly right, and um, you know, we his foot is not um, is a little bit strange in terms of. I've always heard that he's had some toe issues, um, but you know, he he cannot wear or he does not feel comfortable wearing the LeBron 11 shoes, which debuted this year. Uh, he's only worn them for two complete games. Uh, he started games with them and then taken them off after uh, a first time out or in between quarters. Um, you know, he, he told us last night that uh, it, it's not working right now, and uh, they're working on a solution to, 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 to make things right so that he can wear his shoes. Because ultimately, Nike obviously wants him to display his shoes that, he's, that they're currently selling on his feet. Well, with him not wearing them as much, has that affected sales at all with the sneakers? It actually hasn't. Um, you know, sales are, are, are actually up almost 20% versus the LeBron 10s at this point last year, um, which, which might be surprising. Um, I think, you know, analysts basically say, well, if you like LeBron and if you like the shoe, uh, and the reviews from the shoe are actually great, um, it, 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 it has not translated, you know, LeBron's issues, have not translated to consumers at all. There's there's been great reviews of the shoe, so uh, the sales are actually up, and I think that's probably why there's there's maybe less of a panic at Nike. It, even still, there there are people that say, how is it possible to unveil the most important signature shoe outside of the Jordan uh, of of the year and and not have the guy whose name is behind it wearing them? I think that comes off as a little bit strange, and, and people can't figure out how a company as big as Nike, uh, you know, can't get this right. And also, many are wondering how does when they say, when Nike says they're redefining, what do they mean by that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, Le LeBron. I, I, I think what they're trying to do is figure out how to make the shoe. I mean, the shoe's got to look the same. The shoe is already out. Um, uh, the, the, the shoe's already out. It's been sold and. In many colorways, I assume they're trying to figure out how to make the shoe look the same and at the same time allow it to fit LeBron better. Where I will give LeBron a lot of credit, last night he was very honest with us. Um, you know, there's, there's many things in, in, in this business, there's something called a cosmetic, which is it, like a tennis racket. There are many, many players, uh, tennis players that uh, are. are playing with six- or seven-year-old rackets, but they have $15,000 paint jobs to make them look like the actual uh, uh, racket that's currently being sold. LeBron's shoes haven't been painted. He's admitting that there's an issue just with him. Um, so, you know, at, at least there's, there's some honesty here, but I assume what it means is keeping the shoe the same and somehow making it fit his foot better. And then going forward, making sure that there's a design that both uh, feels good to, uh, to, to, to people at retail and then also feels good to LeBron. ESPN Sports Business reporter Darren Revolva, The Insight. I'm Tony Collins with your ESPN Headline.